Sometimes, no matter how much you prepare, unexpected situations like an illness, divorce, or loss of a job can make it hard to manage your finances. When you don't have enough money to pay your monthly expenses, you are faced with some tough financial decisions. No matter how bad your situation may be, you cannot afford to ignore your bills and creditors. The best way to overcome your situation is to take charge. Your first thought may be to use personal loans, credit cards, and other debt if it is available to you. Unless your situation is likely to change in a very short time, this may not be the best choice because it can lead to having more debt, which can make it even harder to pay your bills later. Instead, it can help to concentrate on cutting back on your expenses, earning extra income, and working with your creditors to reduce your payments until your circumstances get better. A great first step is to find time to review your financial situation. As you review your finances, ask yourself questions like, how much income can I count on? What are my current expenses? And how long do I think this situation is going to last? Also, it can help for you to contact your creditors. Creditors are the people or companies you owe money to. When you tell them you are having trouble with covering your bills, they may let you pay your bill later, often called a deferred payment agreement, or let you pay your bill in smaller amounts for a limited amount of time. While these bill repayment options may work for you, it is important to know that they may require you to pay additional fees and other charges. Of course, there is no guarantee that any of your creditors will offer these options, but you won't know your options if you don't contact them. Next, you can plan to manage your finances during this tough time. One way to start is to make a list of your monthly expenses, the amount for each expense, and what happens if each expense isn't paid. With this information, you can then decide which expenses are high priority, mid priority, and low priority. Next, you can do things that will get you closer to paying for your expenses. Here are some examples. You can look for items in your house you might be able to sell. Do you own any electronics or clothes of value that you no longer use or need? If so, you can sell them to gather some extra money. It may also help to contact your local human services office to learn if you qualify for any public benefits like food assistance or childcare benefits. If possible, think about part-time or gig work that you may be able to do to earn more money. Any extra money you earn will help. Once you've considered or taken these steps, it's time for you to decide which bills you will pay first. You are required to pay all of your creditors, but it is important to have a plan to pay your bills in a specific order when you don't have the money to pay all your expenses. Here are some general suggestions. First, pay your housing-related bills such as your rent or mortgage payments. Second, pay for your groceries and medical insurance if you can afford the premiums. Third, Pay the minimum required to keep important utility services like your gas and electric bills. You may also include your phone bill in this category because communication can be essential in the case of an emergency. Fourth, pay your car loans or leases if you need to keep your car. Paying your bills during tough financial times is hard, but if you take the right steps and use the resources available to you, then it is something you can achieve. You can learn how to plan for your specific situation by contacting your county's financial educator or reviewing the When You Can't Pay Your Bills module on the Money Matters website.